Hi, this is Markets of Sunshine. Today we're going to be making seed packet envelopes. So spring is just around the corner and here in Florida <laughs> it's wonderful weather 12 months out of the year pretty much, but maybe two months you can't really garden, so 10 months out of the year we can garden. So we're already doing our seed swaps with friends. So I have some of my, all of my seeds out here as a matter of fact. And I actually seem to like one company, so I've tried different ones over the years. So the Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, and that's uh, rareseeds.com is actually the website. But it's Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds.com out of Missouri. They're heirloom seeds, vintage, uh, vintage, organic. And then another one that I found here in Florida is a co-op that is from uh, Gainesville, Florida. It's called workingfood.org. So I picked up some of these and just to support that uh, co-op. And then these morning glory seeds I got, I don't even remember if it was from a Etsy shop or one of my farm girl friends off Mary Jane Farms Forum. But anyway, so these came along the way somewhere down the road. And then when you place an order with the Baker's Creek, they gave us a thank you packet of purple Russian tomato. So that was fun to get those. And I've planted all of these. And here in Florida, my success rate was with okra. Oh, yes, one other company. Let me share that with you real quick. Okay, and then Callie Kim, it's C-A-L-I-K-I-M. She's here on um, YouTube. She's in California, so I purchased her heat-tolerant green seed packet, which is all chard and kale and lettuces of, of different kinds, spinach, um, lettuce varieties, but chard I, we like, and kale, of course, is very good for you. So all of your greens are very good for your cardiovascular blood vessel, keeping them um, working properly and, and dilated. And if you're into the plant-based food diet, and then there's a doctor, a channel that I followed as well that I um, can't remember now. I have their cookbooks and all kinds of things, but I used to watch it quite a bit, but I can't eat plant-based solely, but I do I do like to eat um, probably, it's a 50-50 mix between plant and animal protein. So anyway, okay, so now all of all of these seeds, these these are my three go-to seed companies. Um, so Cali Chems and Baker Creek the most. These you have to, I pick these up in a little store here in Florida and... Um, Micanope, I think it's the name, how you pronounce it. It's over there near Cross Creek area, if you're familiar with the um, books uh, and the story here. Um, but I haven't been to their website. I will check out their website to see do they sell the seeds off their website. So now, let's get into what worked here in Florida. And um, I used all organic soil. And I don't know, uh, you know, we had the bug issues. So my squashes, everything came up beautifully. This was, last year was the first time that I had really good success with my garden. I did all um, container gardening and the grow bags. You can go over to my channel, Sunshine Homemaker, and you'll be able to watch the whole process there. And from seeds to starting to them actually coming up, I have progressive videos of the whole thing. The squashes got the powdery mildew, the dreaded powdery mildew, <laughs> and they all died. So all the flowers came on them. They were blooming so beautifully, and you have female flowers and male flowers, and I was only getting female flowers. I didn't ever, ever, never saw any of the male flowers form, and then all the buds fell off, and it happened to my friend in Georgia as well. So don't ask me what was going on on the East Coast with squashes last year, but when I found out it happened to her too, then I was like, okay, well, there must have been something going on. All right, and turnips, the turnips did grow, uh, but the mistake I made with the turnips was, and this is something I learned, which I'll share too once I get going with the planting again, um, and all the planting, I will um, just have like a little 
snapshot here on this channel, but my Sunshine Homemaker, I'm going to just do everything on the gardening. That's where I'm doing all my gardening. My life, you know, style type thing here. Mark is a Sunshine channel here. This is all my craft related, but since we're going to make seed packet envelopes today, that's why I'm doing this here. So, But I figured, you know, this would be enjoyable for you as well. Now, all, like I said, all the greens grew fabulous. And right now I can show you a picture, which when I do the video, when I get started with my starting my seeds, and I have kale and Swiss chard and Boston, this lettuce here, the big Boston lettuce, still growing from last year. It's in the grow bag, and I'll show you which grow bags were, were good and which grow bags weren't good and why what happened as to why I say weren't good okay so this squash again like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna try all over again this year with all, all same seeds and um, see what happens and the carrots carrots did pretty good um, but again I'll tell you what the little mistake was that I made snafu -y. okra 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 is not really my favorite I will I will just say I do like okra but it's, it's but it's just not my favorite it grew the best out of all the plants. And I will show you the container that I used for that. It was a grow box, actually, not a grow bag. Watermelon, I didn't do anything good with the watermelon, but I will plant these again today. Not today, this uh, year. And um, what I'm going to do differently this year, when we had, we had a greenhouse, we took the greenhouse down when the garden went kapooey, and uh, the lettuces were doing a little bit at the time, but nothing fantastic. It was like, you know, they were coming up and, you know, we're tr trimming off a few. I think the romaine did pretty good. And, uh, but they were just little tiny things like this. You know, they never got big and, and flourishing like they are now. So the only difference was when they started to flourish, and this was the secret that I found out. Okay. I had them in the containers, in the greenhouse, up off the ground. That was not good. Now I have learned why did, does everything grow and sprout in the ground? Because that's where the connection is. They need to be connected, touching the ground. Once we took the greenhouse down, we, my husband put all those grow bags right directly on the ground. Poof! I mean, those things took off like crazy. So there is something with the energy and the magnetic field of the earth, the grounding. You know, you've heard of grounding, I'm sure. If you haven't heard of grounding, you can check that out on my Instagram channel. I talk about grounding over there. Um, on my blog, marcusasunshine.com, just type in the search box, grounding. I talk about that grounding there. I have a grounding mat, but the best way to ground is outside in nature, coming into contact with plants, the earth, walking on the earth. So humans and animals and plants all thrive being outdoors. That being the case, so now this year what we're going to do is we're going to place all of our grow bags and, which my grow box was on the ground as well when the okra was thriving and taking off, because it's a huge box. I would say it's probably from here to the end of my table, at least three feet, and um, not so wide really, but maybe two feet wide. That's the only thing, again, that I can say. And like right now, we have the grow box up on a table, and I have blueberry, blueberry, I have blackberry and uh, strawberry in it. They're growing like a snail pace. So I'm going to tell my husband, I said, you know what, we're going to test this out again. Put that grow box on the ground, and I have, you know, we're going to fence in an area because we have wildlife that comes through, and I don't want them nibbling my garden. And so I'm going to see, once we set that grow box on the ground, do the strawberry and blackberry take off. It is growing. The blackberry has a nice little vine going. We put a little trellis in there for it. So anyway, so just wanted to share those gardening fun tips with you. Now I have my seed already in their little envelopes that are going to my friends. So I'm going to put the rest of these away until I'm ready to go into my garden which is going to be coming up here pretty soon, but we did get a little bit of a cold snap. And uh, this week we had woke up to, we got in the 40s at night. So, you know, you know how that is. You'll get a, like a last frost or something in March. So I thought, well, I'll start the seeds 
try to keep them in, in the doors, but the garage gets really cold here too, and I'm not going to go and mess with all the grow lights and all that kind of stuff. So, but um, let me get my cutting mat. Oh, I wanted to keep out a seed packet. That's why I had that one. I can get okay. This is my little diamond press die cutting machine. Isn't it cute? And I'm ordered a bigger one. And it should be here this week or next week. And that came from Home Shopping Network. This is craft month, National Craft Month, if you didn't know that. They always have a holiday for something. <laughs> they have to have a holiday to make money. It's all about making money. I hope you know that. It has nothing to do with anything else, just about making money. Okay. Now, if you noticed... All right. This is three, all right, so we're looking, let's first let's measure this. Okay, so this is, we're looking at a half an inch. So this little flap here is a half an inch. So we want a half an inch folding up. This is a little more than half. And then this is three quarters. Okay, so now I want you to get an idea. So the width is approximately three and a half with your half an inch flap. So that's four inches, half an inch folded over. And then this packet this way is five and a half. So we're going to go six and a half because we want this half and this half to fold over. All right, so we got all that. We need a four inch, four inch by six inch. Okay, so we're going to cut a four by six. And then we're going to get everything out. So let's start with the six. And this is for the purpose of doing swaps with your friends. Actually, this should have been the four, four inch side, but that's okay. All right, so let's do six this way. Put the packet here. Okay, so yeah, actually, yeah, so six inches. And I had, um, what did I say? Five and a half. Oh no, six and a half. Yeah, I would need six and a half. Six and a half. Just go up here. Oops, that was no problem. Oh, oh wait, wait. Hold the apple cart. Wait a minute. I did it again. Okay, so this would be. <laughs> yeah, I have a tendency to do that. Okay, so three and a half, and three and a half is seven. And then you want to add the extra, so we need seven and a half. But, do you see? I caught myself. Did you see how I did that? I caught myself. All right, so seven and a half. Let's see if we can get it to work. Let's see. It's just going to be a little bit of a smaller. All right, now. Now we got it. All right. So let's fold this over. And this is how simple and easy this is to do. So you fold this over. I'm just going to eye it. I'm not worried about exactness. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't need exactness. So, but, you, I mean, you can tell that's looks like about a half an inch. All right, so we just want this to be here like this, exactly the way it is back here. You see? Keep that there for you to see. And now we want a flap here and a flap here. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is now this, there needs to be a flap here that goes up. So let's open up the whole thing. Fold it up. There's my little packets, which I can fold these over like this. And then put these in here. And then this is going to go like this. And then this is going to go like this. See? And then they'll be inside. Just so that you can see that. Alright. And then we need a flap up here. So we're going to do the same thing, and we're just going to fold over just a certain amount, just to get it a little nice, you know. Of course, that didn't go straight down here on this end. I can see that. Okay. Now, this will fold over here. This will fold over here. Okay. So now, okay, we want this. 
this, and then this, and then this. All right, so now let's, let's look at this, and then we'll be able to see. So we need to take off this, this piece here, and we need to take off this piece here. We do not need those. Okay, so now we're going to get our scissors. Where am I? Yes, okay. So these outside flaps. I'm trying to see which side. It, okay. The print side is harder to see where I creased it. Okay, so we're just going to go right over here. This line, and then we're going to do the same thing here. Just takes away that bulk. We don't need. Let me trim it down here. We're going to trim it up here. Okay. And if you want to go through and look up and find a free printable seed packet, go right ahead and feel free to, to do that. That is perfectly fine also. But if you have plenty of paper and you want to make something really fun, then this is what you can do. Now we're going to take off this little corner and we're going to take off this little corner. We don't need those. I pre prefer to make my own. I just, it's what I just love to do. I love to make whatever I can make, I make it. If I can't make it, then yes, I purchase it. Okay, that folds over there. This one folds down here. This one folds over here. Actually, it doesn't really matter. That can go in first, this one, and then this one. Okay, now we're good to go. All right, so now all we need to do now is we're going to glue this flap, and we're going to glue this flap. And let me trim this off just a little bit more because it's a little bit getting in the way. Just that little tiny bit. And we're going to just use our glue stick. Dandy dandy glue stick. Okay. All right, usually I have something underneath of that. Okay, I threw all these plastic bags away the other day, but now I'm, now I'm seeing they're working. They're, I need them. <laughs> Just like my wax paper. Okay, so what do I do here? Okay, so this one goes first. Good amount. Fold that over here. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. This one up here like this and look how quick and easy it was that we made our very own seed packet holder. So now I'm going to put these in here and these are ready to go to my friend. Now we take this up here and we're going to just angle it a wee 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 bit just so that it makes it look a little bit cuter. So then when it folds, see how cute that looks? And you could do the same thing down here if you want to. We'll do that on the second one. Okay, so there's seed packet number one. And we're going to make a little label. I thought that would be cute is to put just a, like a little label right here. And we can just use a scrap piece of paper. Just like that. And we're going to glue this into place. Just a seed packet envelope, people. Doesn't have to be, you know, looking like it's made for the queen. Okay. All right. Let's see, just that, just that nice. I mean, it doesn't have to be like I'm saying. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab a color and I'm going to then write my friend's name on the front. Okay, so that one is going to Amy. And then the next one, got that over here, we'll do in the blue. 
All right, so what did I say? So we got length is seven and a half. And this paper doesn't matter which way it goes, it's the same. It's not a directional paper, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we have the seven and a half on the length. Now the width, okay, so we wanted to, let's see here now. All right, so then I fold it. Yeah, so I'm gonna fold it here. All right, so we need it, I want it shorter. No, that was the, yeah, this is, okay, this is the seven and a half part. I always throw myself. Make sure I got it right. Okay, yeah, okay so this is right, okay. So now we can fold this over. Use this as a guide. This down here. I know I'm very unconventional when it comes to my crafting. I don't like to measure and all that kind of stuff. I go with the flow. It's just like it's so much better that way. I just love it. Okay, when I have to measure, I measure, but when I don't have to measure, and this is one of those times you don't have to measure. Okay, yeah. Just that quick and easy. Now we can get rid of this thing. All right. Probably a little bit too big this way, but that's okay. All right, now take it down here. Fold this end up. Same thing here. Fold this end down. Across there. And then we're going to open this up. And then we're going to fold this in as well. There you go. So that's our three folds for the closure. Okay. Now we're going to take off this one in here and this one here. Again. Just cut it right on that fold line. And you're going to go over to, I'm going to make this a little bit more so that I can see where I'm cutting. There we go. Okay, now you're going to just trim on this line and you're going to trim on this line. All right. Now there's that one here. Okie dokie, and then you have these back over so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so then this goes up here. So we want to take off this little corner and we want to take off this little corner. So easy, just quick, quick, quick. Quick like a bunny. And you know, you can do this with flower seeds. So Maybe you have friends that don't grow a garden, vegetable garden, but they have, you know, they like flowers. So you could send them flower seed packets. And so like some of these morning glory seeds that I have, then I can share. All right, so we didn't do this on the other one, but we're going to go ahead and do it here. I'm just going to trim off this little section there. And we're going to just trim off a little tiny section here. So I'm just taking the scissors to this corner. So then when it's closed, now it looks really nice. And so then this is going to be in here. I don't know why that one's... Somehow it got a little bit over there. So you can do the same thing on here. Just makes it fold a little bit easier. Okay, same thing up here. Okay. This goes in first, this goes over here, and this comes down here. Okay, we're going to do the same thing up here. Come off just a little section. And we're going to do the same thing here. Okay. Grab these off the table. Okay, now let's get all of these. Oh, wait, carrots, 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 carrots were supposed to be in here. How did you get out of there? Hmm. 
<laughs> a little plump. Okay, so we're going to turn it around this way. We're going to put part of them up at that end and part of them at that end. Okay. <laughs> we may have to make two for this set. Let's take a look and see here what we're going to do. Okay. <clears throat> Side flap glues first. Don't know if it really matters, but that's what they have, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, did you see what I, I don't know. I don't know, something, well, I know what's wrong. I've got, I've got, I've got things on my mind. I know what's wrong. I know why. Okay. <clears throat> but that's saved. See how that works? Because the good thing about this glue stick is that then you can at least unpeel it. Alright, now, for goodness sake. Alright, so that's going to be glued down really good. But now let's see how many of these we can get in the bag. Let's put in three, and then we'll see if we can get more. And I know I'm not waiting for the glue to dry, which would probably be a better thing. All right, the fat ones are not going to go in here. They're going to give me a hard time, but the ones that can lay flat, that would be good. This little part here is... All right, let's go with these first. Okay, let's put them all the way down in there. Okay, now we're going to roll these one at a time. <clears throat> let's go in this direction. Ha ha. Ha ha. And then we're going to go in this direction. And maybe, just maybe, ha, yes, we made it. Yes. Stuffing it in there. Alright, let's, let's uh, I know it's the air also in the little bag as well. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get this little guy to stay. I'm gonna glue the little flappy. And the reason why I put the cap back on immediately is because those glue sticks dry out really fast. So that's why you always see me take the time to put the lid back on, because I know I found out the hard way. All right, so now you're going to just have to push that back toward it, and then I can, there you go. Okay, I didn't glue this one down, but now we're going to glue it down. Okay. Which is a good thing, because the carrot didn't get in the bag. Now the carrot's in the back. Okay. All right, done. Now all we need to do is put our little name label on here. and we're going to put the name okay there you have it so there's <laughs> it actually worked out that I made this one bigger accidentally on purpose <laughs> And this one's smaller so this one needed to be bigger because there was more seeds going in here and it needed to have the room 
this one needed to be, it was its perfect little size. So this one is closer to the original, whereas this one is smaller than the original, but it works out fine. So now that gives you the idea of how you can make your own seed packet envelopes. Put your vegetable seeds, put your flower seeds, put a tea bag, put a gift card, whatever you want to put in there, and surprise your friend. If you're doing a swap, then that will be a wonderful way to make it personal because now you're putting your own handmade seed packets in the mail along with the seeds. So trying to trying to even it up there, but that's okay. It's going to look like that. So thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and you'll be able to, um, if you have a public account, subscribe with a public account, go and watch the 400 subscriber giveaway. I'll have it in a card above and the end screen will have the button for subscribing. It's right here on the channel. You'll see down at the bottom, it says market the sunshine. You click that or while you're watching the big red button, just click it. Click the bell next to it so you get notifications of when I upload a video, which is generally Monday through Friday, daily, weekly, uh, weekends I do take off. Once in a blue moon, I will have one on the weekend if I haven't had any during the week. But anyway, I have weekly videos several times a week, just so that you know that. All right, so you always have variety here on my channel, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you, and keep creating in the sunshine. Bye-bye.